Welcome to the Second Type of Title on Long Track Gridiron. I'm your host, Tony Blaylock. I'll be back with the action for Central Texas National Football right after the evening. With open enrollment coming soon for Medicare, ACA, Obamacare, and small group plans for businesses with less than 100 employees, if you're in need of health insurance solutions, look no further than HAP Insurance Agency. Yes, HAP Insurance Agency is a fantastic resource right in the heart of College Station, Texas. Whether you're in retirement, a business owner, or simply looking for the best health coverage option, HAP Insurance Agency has got you covered. You can find them in College Station at 1551 Greens Prairie Road West, Suite 101A, or give Holly Pritchard a call at 972-897-0814. That's HAP Insurance Agency. Looking to boost your company's marketing? Look no further than Fresh Media Works. Podcasting is the best way to promote your brand and increase your customer base. You can create your own show, be a guest on other podcasts, or advertise on existing podcasts to reach a valuable audience. Don't wait. Start elevating your marketing game today with Fresh Media Works. Call now. 713-269-4620 or find us online at freshmediaworks.com slash podcasting. I want to thank Half Insurance, College Station, Fresh Media Works, and Nani's Leaders Ad for their sponsorship of the Central Texas Huddle. Now let's get right to the action in Central Texas High School football in week six. We're going to start off with the Bryan Coppers Cove game. This game went into overtime. Coppers Cove kicked a field goal to take a 46 43 lead, and then Isaiah Nettles scores the game winning touchdown for the Bryan Vikings. They walk away with a 49-46 overtime victory. Now let's go to Flugerill, Weiss, and Temple. Weiss gets a 46-yard touchdown pass from Jax Brown to Jacques Bradley Dimps with 54 seconds remaining in the game to win 28-25. For Weiss, the uh, stat leaders were Jack Brown, 21 of 43 for 248 yards and one touchdown. The leading receiver was Jacques Bradley Dimps with eight receptions, 101 yards, and the one touchdown. And Braden Dayan Woolley added 10 carries, 91 yards, and one touchdown rushing. For Temple, Demarion Willis had 135 yards rushing, 65 yards passing, and one touchdown pass. And Josiah Harrison had 19 carries for 131 yards and two touchdowns. On to our next game, which was Round Rock McNeil and Vista Bridge, a real defensive struggle. The only touchdown of the game came as McNeil scored on a 24 yard hook and ladder play with uh, 324 left in the second quarter to take the lead 7-6, and that was the end of the scoring as McNeil walks away with a 7-6 win over Vista Bridge. For McNeil, Jason Schultz had 60 yards passing, 25 yards rushing, and one touchdown passing. And Gerald Gary had 18 carries, 71 yards. He also had six receptions for 38 yards, and one touchdown. Now we're going to do some quick hitters with Austin High versus Austin Bowie. And Austin High scores with three seconds left in the game to knock off Austin Bowie 31 to 27. Senator Clark and San Antonio Madison. Clark gets a safety with about seven minutes left in the game to extend their lead to 30 to 21 and to hold on for the 30 to 28 win over Madison. And we'll move on to San Antonio Taps and San Antonio Warren. Johnny Lott connects with Jaden Allman for a 47-yard touchdown with 48 seconds left in the game to lift that to a 28-21 win over Warren. Clean Ellison versus Waco. Waco scores with 125 less in the game to break a 
14-14 tie, missed the extra point, and took a 20-14 lead. Then Sidney Holland hit Traverius Turner-Smith for a four-yard touchdown as time expired to tie the game at 20. Juan Ramirez nails the extra point, and Ellison walks away with the 21-20 win over Cueca. And for Ellison, the star of the game was indeed Sidney Holland with 135 yards passing, the one passing touchdown, and he added a rushing touchdown. For Waco, uh, R.J. Young had 187 yards passing and three touchdowns. Marcus Chandler had 126 yards receiving and two touchdowns. College Station A&M consolidated and Cedar Park. College Station A&M consolidated jumped out to a 14 to nothing lead. Cedar Park cut the lead to 14 to 10, and then the Consolidated Tigers extended the lead to 21 to 10 late in the third, and held on for a 24 to 16 win over Cedar Park. Go on to Sh Colleen Chaparral and Pflugerville. Chaparral's Kenneth Johnson intercepted a pass at the goal line with 34 seconds remaining of regulation to seal a 39-34 Chaparral win over Pflugerville. For Chaparral, the uh, leaders were Keith Tyler, 24 carries, 282 yards, and 5 touchdowns. Kenneth Johnson had 11 carries for 121 yards, and Davian Arthur had 12 carries for 103 yards, as Chaparral's had three runners go over 100 yards in the game. Now, Rouse versus Lugerville Conley, uh, and Grouse wins this game 36-34. to Grouse never led by more than nine points as they walk away with the win. Their statistical leaders, Jason Cannon, 26 carries for 195 yards, one, touch, one touchdown. He also had three receptions for 36 yards. And London Morgan was 12 of 14, passing for 52 yards. For Connolly, Jamal Upper Columbia had 12 carries for 139 yards and one touchdown. Caden Wynn had, was 18 of 25 passing for 184 yards and three touchdowns. Owen Garcia had five receptions for 70 yards and one touchdown. And Landon Bradley had seven receptions for 68 yards and one touchdown. you have a party coming up or just want a special gift, check out Nani's Sweeter Side. Yes, Nani's Sweeter Side makes the most amazing custom created sugar cookies with your design. They also offer paint your own cookies and decorate your own cookies. Those make an excellent sweet activity that you can sink your teeth into at parties. Nani's also offers some of the most amazing cupcakes ever. You can check out Nani Sweeter Side at nannysweeterside.com. That's N-A-N-I. Check her out on Facebook. Just look for Nani's Sweeter Side. Or give her a call at 937-499-4790. At Nani Sweeter Side, you'll find that happiness is homemade. Hey, did you play Texas high school football? If you did, you're part of an elite group. The Brotherhood of Texas High School Football. All football players, past and present, who have ever suited up in the Lone Star State are eligible. Go to LoneStarGridiron.com slash Brotherhood. And thank you for the part you played in the greatest sport in the greatest state. Now we move on to another overtime game. San Antonio Veterans. Memorial and Lockhart, which San Antonio Veterans Memorial walked away with the win in this game, 49 to 42 again in overtime. And Veterans Memorial was led by Clinton Dixon with 18 carries, 262 yards, five touchdowns, and he also had one passing touchdown. 
the game down in foray as our number nine Stephenville took on our number six Brownwood. This was tied at 17 early in the fourth quarter, and Stephenville then scored 10 unextra points to win the 83rd meeting between the two schools, 27 to 17. For Stephenville, quarterback Ryan Gafford left in the second quarter with an injury. He was replaced by Hudson Butchie, who had, was four of six passing for 130 yards and one touchdown. Tate Maruska had five carries for 63 yards, and Trenton Gentry had two receptions for 121 yards and a touchdown. For Brownwood, I call was 12 of 23 passing for 172 yards and two touchdowns. He added 44 rushing yards. And Carson No had five receptions, 97 yards, and one touchdown. Gatesville beat Mineral Wells 28-21. to For Gatesville, the uh, statistical leaders were Rashawn Smith with 13 carries, 71 yards, and one touchdown. Jimmy Hall had eight carries for 58 yards, and Braden Saunders had five carries for 13 yards and three touchdowns. Bandera scored early in the fourth to break a 35-35 tie and record a 42-35 win against Robstown. For Bandera, the star of the game was Jesse Cardenas on 23 carries, 158 yards. He was also 7-11 of passing for 200 yards. And he accounted for four touchdowns for Bandera. Moves on to the Franklin Rockdale game. It's tied at three early with Jaden Jackson and then Bubba Jackson. Rushed for Franklin Lion touchdowns to give Franklin an 18 to 3 halftime lead. Franklin pushed the lead to 25 to 3. Rockdale answered with a 90 yard touchdown pass from Bladen. Barkhart to Sawyer Clark and a 24-yard touchdown run from Barkhart. Franklin held on for the 25-15 win. That is the Lions' 38th consecutive win. And a quick error as Randolph beat Blanco 21-7. And Randolph moves to 6-0 for the first time since 2007. And the final game we're going to look back on from week six, Nixon Smiley beats Carnes City 26-14. For Nixon Smiley, uh, Luke Moses, 11 of 19 for 168 yards and four touchdowns. And Aiden Flores with five receptions, 50 yards, and two touchdowns. Now let's move on to look at the rankings and schedule for for week seven. So we start off with the ranked teams in 6A. A reminder, all the rankings, uh, top 30 for 6A, top 15 for 581, 582, 481, 482, 381, 382, 281, and 282 can be found on LoneStarGridiron.com every week. And these are the upgraded updated rankings for week following play on week six. Number four, Westlake. In week seven, they will be at Austin Anderson. Number six is Van de Griff. They will be at Round Rock McNeil. Number 10 is Lake Travis. They will be at Austin Del Valley. Number 12, Cibolo Sill will be at New Bronzeville. And number 24, Brooking Dripping Springs will host Austin Aikens. In 5A D1, number 6, Smithson Valley, will be at Lehman. Number 7, Collie Station, will be at Cedar Park. And number 13, San Antonio Wagner, will be at San Antonio MacArthur. 5A D2, number 11, Alamo Heights, will be hosting San Antonio Jefferson. 4A D1, number 2, Bernie, will be at Uvalde. Number 7, China Springs, will be at Alvarado. Stephenville is tied for ninth, and they are on their open week this week. And Davenport is tied for 14th, and they will be at Taylor. For AD2, number two, Wimberley is at Gerald. 
Quero is tied for fourth, and they will be hosting Giddings. Waco Connolly is tied for twelfth. They will be hosting Gatesville. And Madisonville is tied for 14th, and they are on their open week this week. In 3A D1, number one Franklin is open this week. Columbus is tied for third, and they will be hosting Hallettsville. Number 11, Lorena is at McGregor. Jordanton is tied for 12th, and they will be hosting Hondo. And number 15, Yoakum host Hitchcock. 3AD2, number 6, Poth is at San Antonio Southwest Campus. And number 15, Comanche is at Millsap. 2AD1, number 10, Mason is open this week. Number 11, Holland is at Thrall. Number 12, Centerville host West Harden. Number 13, Hawley, is at Colorado City. And in 2AD2, number one, Mark, host Frost. Chilton is tied for fourth, and they will be at number 11, Bremont. And number 10, Granger, host Iola. And that's going to do it for the Central Texas Huddle on Longstar Gridiron. For this week, be sure and check back next week. We'll go over uh, games of note for week seven, look, look at the rankings and schedule for week eight. I want to thank Hap Insurance of College Station, Fresh Media Works, and Nani's Sweeter Side for their sponsorship of the Central Texas Health.